The experience of true love is unlike any other. And yet, unfortunately, most of us never actually get to experience it. And those of us who do, it is usually for a very short period of time. It is usually quite temporary in nature and very, very fleeting. The form of love that a healthy married couple is able to experience for one another is extremely sacred. And yet, we are living in a day and age that seeks to actively destroy a stable, healthy marriage, as well as disintegrating traditional families and values. And as the world's population continues to decrease, and as online dating apps continue to be advertised and promoted vigorously in your face everywhere, it becomes clear as to which way our world is really heading. But fortunately, you have free will and you have the choice and you have the power to choose love in a world full of sin. Firstly, it is absolutely essential for you to become aware of how sin and lust is now advertised in our faces more than ever. More so than the idea of a happy, stable, married couple and a traditional bonded, united family in love. Many of you, this may be you watching this right now, you seek to reunite and to unite fully with your true love, whether that be a husband or whether that be a wife. And yet, you may find yourself still being quite stuck in lust, perhaps. If this is you, well, let me tell you that your search is futile. You must, must, must remove lust from your mind before you can ever expect to attract and unite with your true love. Prayer and repentance are especially helpful with this. Secondly, you must remain extremely disciplined, whether you are a male or a female like myself. You must be able to maintain healthy routines on a daily basis in order to actually strengthen your divine masculinity or your divine femininity. Now this is something that is not so widely promoted anymore since the degeneration of the population that is currently occurring it is destroying people's sense of who they really are deep down inside. We are forgetting our divine nature, whether that be as a masculine or a feminine. Forgetting and disconnecting with our sense of God within us. Godliness or as a goddess. For females, Yes, I will cover men after, but for females, because I am a female and you may be too watching this, it becomes absolutely crucial for you to be able to focus on developing your sense of self-worth and not only self-worth, but also your sense of confidence and your sense of stability within your mind and within yourself as a whole spiritually mentally and emotionally females i cannot stress this enough since we are more prone to emotional upset with all of our hormones that we have going on on a daily basis then it becomes so important to be able to strengthen our sense of self-worth and our sense of emotional stability to be our best version to attract the true love of your life, your husband. Spend time with yourself, ladies, in prayer 
to God and in meditation. Write down your feelings, start journaling, find an outlet to be able to process your emotions in a healthy way. This will help you so, so much in your journey on the path of becoming the best possible version that you can be as a beautiful wife and queen goddess to your amazing, amazing husband who is there for you and willing to serve you as you are to him. And for men, it is highly recommended, especially as a female and from a female perspective. As someone who is happily married in a relationship to my beautiful king, my husband, for you kings out there as well, you must focus on training and discipline more than ever to become your best version, to attract your queen into your life and to be able to fully align with your true love, your wife. You must then more than ever detach yourself from the distractions of the world, detach yourself from lust. You must focus on training your beautiful temple to become strong, to be able to protect your wife, to be able to provide for your family. So this could mean perhaps branching out into a new business opportunity and maybe getting to the gym a bit more or working out at home wherever you have the time and focus on your mind as well just as everyone should, both males and females. Simply becoming your best self, strengthening your masculinity if you are a man, and strengthening and embracing your femininity if you are a female. This will serve you wholly in being able to become your best self to really align with your husband and your wife. The true love of your life. To experience true love that is eternal, that is long lasting. Just like the stories you may have heard about your grandparents, your great grandparents, who were married for 40 to 60 years, their whole lives with a beautiful family, traditional couples. To be able to experience this form of love then you too have to be able to work on yourself now more than ever because unlike our grandparents who may have been married for many many years for their whole lives maybe even your parents too and other people that you know it was much easier a hundred years ago when the world was a very different place but a hundred years later and here we are Traditional values are being completely destroyed and attacked from every single angle. And it is our job as children of God. And if you are, if you're on the path of spirituality to seek God, to seek Christ in whichever ways you feel comfortable with, because as you begin to connect with God, you will align with your best self naturally because everything around us and all of the beauty and all of the love that you could ever experience in your life is thanks to our creator it is thanks to him that we are able to experience that and it is truly a blessing so you have to decide from here on now which side do you want to take and which path do you wish to go down beautiful soul do you choose to go down the path of lust, of distraction and lack of discipline? The path of Satan, the deceiver? Or do you choose to go down the path of love? The path of authenticity, the path of true light, peace and harmony. That of God, our creator. So. Which one do you take? The blue pill or the red pill? Because at the end of the day, we have free will. That's true. When it comes to attracting and aligning with your true love, 
your wife or your husband, you must make a decision once and for all because it is going to determine as to whether you are fit enough to be able to open yourself up, open your vessel up, open your heart and your mind up to allowing that level, that deep, deep experience of love and connection to actually come in or not. So it's all up to you. I trust that this has been helpful. If it has, be sure to subscribe if you're new here and turn on the bell icon for more. Comment to share your experiences. Share this video to your loved ones who will also find it helpful as well. And be sure to like and I will see you very soon. Before I go, I'd like to mention that I have created a post whereby I outline five steps to manifesting your dream life. If you would like to gain access to these steps and to these secrets, which have helped me immensely to find the love of my life, to find my king, my husband, and to be able to create my dream life at my young age, then do check out the link down below in the description or the comment section where you will be able to join our personal Patreon community, gain access to these five steps to help you manifest your dream love, your dream life and anything else that you wish to. Have a blessed day, have a blessed week and remember, choose love. Amen.